Alex White tried to start his company in Chicago. Three years ago, he and a pair of Northwestern classmates scoured the city, seeking seed funding for their online music analytics service, Next Big Sound. What they found is all too familiar. Everyone was super nice, but in terms of writing a check, it just didn't happen. And we needed any kind of funding, and it never came through. We went to Boulder through the Techstars program and our lead investors from there, so we ended up having to leave the city. It's been a common story in Chicago for years, and a common complaint among the city's entrepreneurs. They say it's hard to raise money here. They bemoan the lack of a startup ecosystem. They say entrepreneurship just doesn't run in the city's blood. But here's the thing about entrepreneurs. When they see something they don't like, sooner or later they're going to try to fix it. And now, with a handful of Chicago heavyweights doing just that, the city's startup support system seems to be on the upswing. A new incubator slash boot camp called Accelerate offers up to $20,000 to startups chosen for an intensive 10-week program to start this summer. It also offers access to a group of mentors that include entrepreneurial icons like Howard Tolman, Michael Farrow, and Genevieve Thiers. Also throwing their weight behind startup support are two of the city's most prolific and proficient technology entrepreneurs. Brad Keywell and Eric Lefkowski emerged from the dot-com boom and bust to build Inner Workings, Echo Global Logistics, and now Groupon. Flush with those successes, the pair has ponied up $10 million to launch LightBank, an incubator that could invest in as many as 10 companies a year. Just as importantly, the companies they fund will get access to Keywell and Lefkowski themselves, who promise to personally get down in the day-to-day -day muck with the entrepreneurs they back. This is predominantly built around the idea that companies in Chicago and the Midwest need capital, but need more than capital. They actually need people to get in there, roll their sleeves up, and help them actually run the business. LightBank and Accelerate should help complement existing Chicago angel funds, nonprofits, and incubators like the Illinois Technology Association. In its West Loop offices, the ITA runs Tech Nexus, a collaborative meeting and office space that is currently home to 38 startups and 110 high-tech entrepreneurs and workers. And at the very smallest level, there's a new venture called ScaleWell. Founded by a trio of young Chicago entrepreneurs, it hopes to provide a tiny bit of funding and a wealth of support to businesses at the gleam in the eye stage. And so we really wanted ScaleWell to fill that void in Chicago of not having a place to go where if you want to start something uh, immediately that doesn't really have a lot of requirements or you have a passion project you want to turn into business, you can turn and get resources, support, and a community around you to help you grow that into something that maybe is fundable or that you can quit your day job, uh, etc. ScaleWell is the brainchild of Andy Angelos, Sean Corbett, and Ziad Hussein. They've recruited 42 trustees, entrepreneurs and business people who pledge $100 apiece toward $1,000 grants that ScaleWell will award to the winners of quarterly business plan competitions. The winners also get free office space in the loop, but again, the most valuable prize is access to the trustees, an instant network of experienced supporters. Earlier this month, the first ScaleWell grant was awarded to Michael Una, who invents and builds quirky musical instruments in his Albany Park workshop and has the modest goal of turning that side business into a full-time gig. He'll use the thousand bucks to bring two new products to market. The money will probably be gone in a few months, but long after that, he hopes the ScaleWell trustees will be helping him shape a business plan, set realistic goals, and connect with the people in their networks. You know, I've been toiling away by myself in my uh, laboratory, creating these things, getting out there, selling them my, uh, on my own, hitting the street. But these people have skills in those areas and are, are offering themselves up as a resource to draw upon. So I think the ScaleWell group, while they have these grants that they give away to small businesses, I think the real value here is in the community it creates and getting all these people in the same room talking to each other. Getting them talking is just a first step, but for the city's would-be entrepreneurs, it's a step in the right direction.